a hexagonal pyramid of base 25 mm side and axis 50 mm long has an edge of its base on the ground. Its axis is inclined at 30 degree to the ground and parallel to the VP. Draw the projections. Firstly, draw the reference line with H pencil and name it X and Y. The required projections will be drawn in two stages for the first stage. Assume that the axis of the pyramid is perpendicular to the horizontal plane. Now draw the true shape of the base that will be seen in the top view. So draw a regular hexagon of 25 mm side below the reference line and name it as A, B, C, D, E, and F. Join the diagonals to represent the slant edges. Now draw the projections from every corner of the hexagon till the reference line and name the points in the front view as A dash, F dash, B dash, E dash, C dash, and D dash. Draw 50 millimeter long axis above the reference line and name the apex as O dash. Complete the front view by joining all the corners to the apex. Now for the second stage, we have to push the pyramid such that the axis become 30 degrees to the horizontal plane. So, to draw the required front view, rotate the drafter 30 degrees upwards, and from reference line draw a line of any length from smaller scale. Name the point C1-D1- on the reference line. This point represents the edge of the base which is resting on the ground. Now take the compass and major the length of the base from the front view of the first stage. Now from C1-D1- as center cut the arc on this line and name this point as A1- dash and F1-. Dash. Now again, take the compass and put needle of compass at A-F- dash, dash, and take the radius up to B-E- dash, dash. from C1-D1- as dash, center point cut the arc and name this intersection point as B1 dash, E1 dash. From this center point, draw a line equal to the length of the axis that is 50 millimeters and name the apex as O1 dash. Join every corner to the apex. This is the required front view. To draw the final top view, draw the projections from every corner point of the front view and draw the locus from the first top view to get the intersection points. Name the intersection points. To complete the final top view, firstly join the outer edges, that is A1 to B1, B1 to O1, O1 to E1, E1 to F1, and F1 to A1. These two slant edges will also be visible from the top, so join them to the apex O1. The remaining lines will not be visible from the top, so join them as hidden lines. This is the required projection of the question. Hope you enjoyed.